Hello, hello. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Steph. I homeschool one first grade six-year-old. So thank you for tuning in. We do appreciate it. I share this channel with him and um, sometimes our content is a little bit crazy. Sometimes I just ramble. Um, you know, sometimes you just never know. <laughs> which direction this is going to go. Uh, but today, what I'm hoping to do is come on here and talk to you a little bit about uh, one of our new curriculums that we started in January. And I, I'm kind of surprised with this one. I really am. So sit back, grab a smoothie, grab something to drink, uh, because I do tend to ramble. I try to keep it short, uh, but I do tend to ramble. Um, I do want to say thank you to our subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. Do appreciate it. So hang tight. I will be right back. And um, let's talk about a new curriculum that we started. Okay? Okay. We started a new curriculum um, well, we started a couple of new curriculums in January, but the one that we started that I have been very excited about is five in a row. Five in a row. Yep. We started five in a row. You guys, I love this. I love this. I cannot say I love this enough. <laughs> so now that we have that out of the way, this is how we use five in a row in our homeschool. I have, let's see. I know. See, I'm never prepared. You guys know this. And I, I really, I was going to be more prepared this time. But, you know, I kind of went out the window. Anyway, so we have our little story discs right here, okay? And the way that we use it is I have this up on the magnetic board. And every, about every two weeks he goes, because we would try to spend about two weeks on um, the story. So every two weeks he goes up and he picks, he puts a check mark next to the one that he wants to do. So we have no idea. We then, after he puts a check mark on it, we then go to our resource, our five in a row book, and we find the story together. Uh, so it's kind of a surprise together on uh, what we're gonna be learning about. So, so far we have done uh, Madeline, we have done um, Storm of the Night. We have, uh, we just finished Papa Piccolo. And um, we are getting ready to do Katie and the Big Snow. And <laughs> I went, because we live in, in Texas, um, I went and bought uh, snow because we never see snow. Well, <laughs> this week in Texas... <laughs> We've had an abundance of snow. We've had no power. So reading Katie in the Big Snow this week has been great for us because we are really in, in real life learning what would happen if Katie wasn't available. So thank you five in a row for that. Um, but anyway, so that's kind of how we use five in a row. Um, I now. This gives some ideas for um, for the books that you read. So it gives a place for teacher's notes. It gives a place for, um, you know, the student to do an activity. This really is much more than, um, hey, read a story five days in a row. This goes over pretty much everything, um, you know, language arts, art. It goes over um, uh, a little bit of math. I would say that, you know, you would probably need your own math program, um, which we have if you were going to use this as your core curriculum. Um, but we are using this kind of as a, a supplement for us. But... So we, we take our time with, um, with five in a row and with the story. So now I'm going to get to kind of why I'm making this video. The stories, like I said, that we have chosen have been Madeline. Now, Madeline, um, 
was about an orphanage. Um, it was about, you know, rhyming and my grandson loves poetry. We have um, the Thinking Tree or Fun School Journal of Poetry Collections where he writes poetry every day, but he loved that Madeline rhymed. He loved it. Um, and then he also liked that, you know, he could dictate poems to me um, pretty much on a daily basis while we were doing that book. <laughs> and um, then we also brought out, you know, his, his little poem book that he loves. Um, but then also, uh, so then, you know, we found this. Now, my grandson is pretty sensitive, so he doesn't... I. <laughs> Okay, let me back up. So I bought a, uh, like an anatomy cube thing for us to put together. And we opened it up and he was like, ah, I'm not, uh-uh, nope. He wouldn't have any part of it, okay? <laughs> so I found this on Amazon and it is actually black and white. And it is something that he can look through. Okay, even the kidneys here. So we were able to go over uh, a little bit of the anatomy using this book right here from Amazon. Um, and let's see. Um, then we went to uh, Storm in the Night, right? This was a beautiful book. Now this one is about grandfather and grandson. Okay. Okay, and we also um, did an experiment with the weather. Now, earlier this year, we had gone over the weather, um, but we did a few weather experiments. Um, <laughs> he enjoyed, he really enjoyed the book, and he really enjoyed um, doing some of those weather experiments that we kind of had left over. Then the um, next one that we did was uh, Papa Piccolo. And there were things that were in common. Madeline, Storm in the Night, and Papa Piccolo that my grandson could relate to. Madeline in an orphanage. Storm in the Night, he's living with his grandfather. Or he's staying with his grandfather. Um, it kind of implies that that's, that's the situation there. And Papa Piccolo. And um, he is uh, going to take care of a couple of kittens. And what it did for me was kind of open my mind in a different direction. Um... And it opened him up to discussing some of the things that we, um, you know, we've discussed before, but we kind of discussed a little bit in, in more detail. Now, prior to Five in a Row, I had found this book and um, we kind of read this book. It's called, um, sorry, it's called, <laughs> it flip flips. <laughs> it's called Our Grand Family grand family and this book is awesome as well um but i was looking for things like this to kind of read to him and um you know let him know that he he wasn't alone you know that unconventional families are everywhere while i was typing in uh grandchildren living with grandparents and getting these type of books other books were right under my nose and I didn't even put two and two together. And I, you know, I feel in some ways I feel like, wow, you know, I should have known that this was out there, that this, this content, you know, this stuff was out there. And other ways, again, you know, just like with our literature, our, our language arts, it's like it, it just came at the right time. And this has been wonderful for me and my grandson. Um, especially the first three the first three stories that he he chose. 
And actually, the last story, Katie in the Big Snow, that he... So, that is what I have enjoyed about Five in a Row. Because, as it, as it says, you know, it kind of leads you down these rabbit trails. And I am running out of time again. <laughs> so, I'm going to make a part two um, for, for this video. Because I think it really... I think it needs a part two. Um, so that we can kind of go into what this has done and helped uh, my family with. So, until we meet again, be the sunshine in someone else's day. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, um, especially if you want to see a part two. And um, subscribe so you get that notification when part two of this video comes out. I really try not to ramble. <laughs> so anyway, um, again, thank you guys. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you so much for the thumbs up that you have given us. And thank you for tuning in. We do appreciate it.